Hi everyone, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about Lotus. Um, she had a really painful case of gas yesterday, the poor love. Um, and gas is where they get a build up of gas inside their digestive tract, which they can't get rid of. Um, I think in Lotus's case it was probably caused by eating too much cabbage and broccoli at the same time. I didn't think it would be too bad because she's not on pellets which slows down the digestion but it obviously was just a bit too much for her I think and the gas build up um, just got trapped in there. Uh, I knew, I sort of felt that it was gas and not caused by a blockage, geostasis by a blockage like a hairball or anything like that um, because when I felt her stomach it was really really bloated. Um, and it was it was very tight uh, and she was also teeth grinding as well which is a sign that they're in quite a bit of pain and she has had blockages with hairballs before and she's never done that um, she was hunched over she was just in the one spot hunched over and also pressing her belly flat to the ground and I just felt it was probably gas um, poor little thing. So my first thing to do is to give her a massage around her gentle massage around her abdominal area to try and get the gas moving and then I made up critical care which you can see here. I always have critical care on hand. Um, I think it's really useful but you don't in the in the event of geostasis or gas you don't want to be feeding them too much because you're just going to compact the problem. Um, but I did want to keep her digestion moving so I mixed up quite a thin um, quite a thin amount, uh, more watery than anything, just to get a bit of fluid into her. Uh, I don't know if you can, if you can see there, it's quite, you can't really see, but it's quite watery. And I only syringe fed her just a little bit of this to keep her digestion moving without compacting the problem anymore. And then I went um, and I got my husband to pick up from the chemist um, some baby wind drops that are meant for infants, um, Infocol it's called. Um, and this is good is really useful because it can help to break down here it is here the infocol um, it can help to break down the air that is trapped inside the bun here Coke, uh, lotus didn't think much of it <laughs> as you can see she's trying to get that out the way she didn't enjoy it but um it can be useful because it's not absorbed into the rabbit's um, digestive tract it just passes through which is great so it's quite hard to overdose on it um, and you it just helps to break down the bubbles into smaller bubbles so they're easier to pass it's got i'll show you here it's got a little um it's the little container it's got a syringe so it was easy i just did one syringe um and i was able to easily you know sort of force feed it to her because she certainly didn't want it um and it is it, the dose that you generally give is one of the syringes uh every hour for three doses so for three hours one syringe every hour for three hours and that should help to break it up. Um, I also kept massing, massaging her quite regularly, massaging her abdominal area quite regularly um, and there is some specific massage moves that you can do to help just to help you know move the tummy around and hopefully break up the gas um, and I'll insert those here now um, and have a link to the video that shows you those because I don't want to really show it on Lotus now because she's just sort of recovered from all everything I was doing to her the other day <laughs> none of the other rabbits would appreciate it either um, so I will link to that video and I'll show you just Every a little bit of it here involves very gentle pressure under the rabbit's tummy like this I'm just going to put my hands here and here and I'm going to kind of manipulate one side and then the other side, up and down, up and down. I sometimes push the whole belly back and forth from side to side, and I place him in my arms like this, facing my dominant hand, and I raise his butt, and I basically, I let him bounce like this. Just gently let him bounce. Uh, so I did that and the other thing I did as well was to put because their body temperature drops when they have gas which is quite dangerous um, they get very cold and it can be quite a dangerous thing uh, so I also used a hot water bottle uh, and put warm water in that covered it over with a material cover and also got a empty um, soda bottle filled that with warm water and covered that with a, a soft sock uh, and I laid those two next to her where she was sitting just to keep her warm and it can also relieve the pain a little bit as well because you know the heat just like when you've got a tummy ache yourself the heat is quite soothing um, you wouldn't want to leave the hot water bottle with her if 
you weren't there to monitor I was but if you if you weren't you'd probably just want to use the soda bottle because if you chewed through the rubber of the hot water bottle um, it could be quite dangerous you wouldn't want to eating rubber and compacting it on top of everything else um, and after the three doses all the massage and the um, Infocold drops she did improve heaps she started grooming herself she came out of her cube she started eating moving um, and by the end of the evening she was back to back to herself again which I was so pleased about because I was a bit worried about her and once she was at that stage then I made sure that I had plenty of things that would really encourage her to eat again so freshly picked organic grass um, I got fresh hay and I made sure her litter box was clean so that it would encourage her to eat the fresh hay in a lovely clean litter box. I made sure she had favourite vegetables, um, just anything to tempt her to just keep eating. I picked all of the dried dand uh, clover heads out of the hay because uh, she really enjoys them. Just things like that just to make sure that you know she didn't, didn't stop eating, that she kept that eating up which was really important. Um, yeah so I just thought I'd share those tips and ex that experience in case it helps any of you. Um, it is important to get your rabbit checked by a vet if you aren't sure what's going on or if you think that your rabbit is in a lot of pain. It's not worth leaving it even if they have recovered after what you've done. If you just want to get them checked out anyway it's worth it as well. Alright thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!